this is what I'm going to call what's on the bench. Um, where to start? So this is my hello. This is my Poly Trojan. She's been running since 2017, and she runs like an absolute barnstormer. However, I want her in, into her at Imlek. Hopefully this year, 22s Imlek. She's passed her steam certificate, passed her hydraulic. But, A, she's filthy, which, granted, but I kind of like the look. I want to clean it up. She has some issues, namely plaques that don't and drain cocks that don't, amongst other things, but those are the main ones. She does. See, one drain cock tried to. And the other side's fine. But this side, not so much. Um, and they are, in fact, dislodged from the linkage. Which is, which will be first point of order. Second point is that the lubricator mostly doesn't either. Um, not a lot goes down. Occasionally a bit of water comes back. She obviously gets enough because she keeps going, but she's not happy. The axle pump clack mostly seals, however does feed back to the tank, which then gets very hot. I don't use the injector, so hot water in the tank is kind of a bonus for the axle pump putting hot water into hot water. Into hot water. But when it comes to reliability and then you stop at the station, or in a queue, not being able to use the injector is kind of a problem. Yes, there's the hand pump, but that's painful. So that needs sorting. And she still needs a clean up. Mechanically, there's nothing wrong with her. There's no more than the usual play and wear in these things. I'm not gentle with her. I do expect her to do a lot of work and usually she performs but now is the time to sort her through neck so i think first point of order is to look at these uh drain cocks and i think that's pretty obvious what's gone on there at some point they've copped a whack and the center pivot point bolt whatever you call it, is no longer in the fork. Hence, moving the lever doesn't really do a great deal. That's a quick fix. We like that. Let's crack on with that. So I think first point of order is to make that move. So let's get a small screwdriver. And see what we've got. So we saw there's no movement in the shaft. Ah, right, there we go. I don't know if you can quite see what happened there. As I push that down, this bar is now sat at an angle rather than vertical, which if I look at sideways, both of the arms off of the drain cocks are also bent. So at some point or another, she's landed on them. Now, I have derailed a few times. She does get a bit bouncy. And at speed, with a load on, full of water, she can get very bouncy. To the point where you do that and then she bounces off the track. Doesn't happen too often. There's a, there's a point of the track at the park that gets a bit undulating. So I'm guessing that has bent these drain cocks. So if I'm careful, and there's nothing wrong with them, they're moving as a pair, and their movement wasn't tight, I'm hoping a little bit of gentle persuasion or some pliers 
we can carefully straighten those out. Now, what have we got? Now, this is a, a newly usable workshop for me. The light up there is running off a solar panel. So, and kit in here is sparse as I slowly get more and more parts. So I have, courtesy of B&Q, because I needed some and they had some, El Cheapo pliers, but they do actually meet at a point, which is better than some. So let's see what we can get in here. Some gentle, can I gently persuade it straight? My arm's gonna be in the way. I apologize for the dodgy camera placement here. Okay, that front one's not horrendous now. That's good. And it, and it has confirmed we do get full movement on the drain clocks when that's out of the way, on the lever, sorry. So let's see what the back one does. That one's more awkward to get at because my hand's smashing on the rods, but. Ah, so it did there? I don't know if it's quite right yet. But the bolt is now trying to go in the fork. I'll point without my finger in the way. So that's what happens if I move the lever. Ah, there we go, that's better. They're opening and closing, more or less as a pair. The argument says you should put some sort of derail protection on here, but hey, these are really low. And I, I think it would spoil the look of an engine that never had derail guards to put derail guards on it. I mean, it's a poly Trojan, yes we do. But as you can see, she isn't Trojan, done as Trojan, she's done on a Port of London engine, of which she, she bared a, a vague resemblance anyway. But, I would say, oh there we go, there's the proof in the pudding. There is some condensate in those cylinders and I'm gonna make a mess. It's not the first time I made a mess. Right, on that point, I call that mission success for now. We'll let that drain out. Is the other, I think the other side's over some paper as well. Yeah, we'll let that drain out and you can join me again to take clacks out and have a look inside those.